right, so pretty quick I throw my cylinder and make the surface smooth using the metal ring. And now I'm going to put a little bit of a horizontal texture on top of uh, the clean surface. And then uh, brush the uh, sodium silicate over and dry a little bit and then stretch it out. So I'm using this tool to uh, scrape a bit of uh, horizontal lines. So I leave a portion about an inch without putting the texture here. Um, I you use the uh, sponge to remove the uh, clay that a little bit coming off to smooth the surface before I brush the sodium silicate. So sodium silicate is also called water glass. It's like a li liquid glass. And uh, it's in liquid form. Now I bring my torch to dry the surface a little bit. And you don't want to over dry it. Make sure that once the uh, shining goes away, stop. If you over dry it when it stretch, it's very easy to crack collapse and also one other thing that you want to uh, pay attention when you are doing this kind of uh, texture give your wall a little bit thicker so when you stretch it out you can stretch it more uh, you can also use a sponge to Stretch it out. And now you, you can see the uh, crackle start to, when you expand the crackle, the vertical line is more dramatically. So that the uh, horizontal lines kind of blending in.
so this piece is going to be a cover jar so this is the body and I'm going to make a lid and to make the gallery uh, you might want to find this kind of a river useful because this 90 degrees is just uh, about right to compress the gallery and usually a lot of people this part here is kind of a round which is not good so you want to make sure this is very perfect 90 degrees if not uh, use the same paper to set it down so this part here is 90 degrees The side is hanging out too much, so I'm going to just chop it off. Right, so I was using a wooden knife to cut down here so that I have more room for the knot. And I kind of trim the clay up so that I don't need to, when I'm ready to trim, I don't need to remove so much clay. So the, making the base a bit uh, smaller. So and later on, I will turn it upside down and then trim the knot. Okay, so that's how they look for the lid. Right, so stay tuned for the uh, trimming part. Okay, and uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.